In the spirit of Thanksgiving, cattlemen continue to be thankful for stronger than expected cattle prices. And Daryl, demand is pretty good for feeder cattle. It has been very good this fall for feeder cattle. Uh, feedlot demand for the bigger feeder cattle has been strong all fall. Those prices have been uh, strong. Calf prices uh, didn't drop very much this fall seasonally. Um, and actually, right before Thanksgiving, we saw them actually increase. Uh, as the wheat pasture really comes on here, uh, the stocker demand has stayed very strong. So we've had, uh, from lightweight to heavyweight, good strong demand for these feeder catalysts this fall. Let's talk about the latest cattle on feed report and what that showed in terms of the fed cattle market. You know, we for, for the last two or three months, it's been pretty consistent. We've placed a lot of cattle. Placements were up over 10% in this latest cattle on feed report, and that was a little bigger than expected. Um, the marketings were still pretty good, uh, you know, 5.6% or thereabout, and so the on-feed total is up over 6% over a year ago. Uh, so we're building those feedlot inventories, but uh, basically, you know, we've got more cattle in the country, and we're, we're seeing them move through the system now, but we're doing a pretty good job of keeping up with them on the marketing side as well as placing more cattle. Let's talk about box beef now. That's kind of dropped off a little bit. Has that changed significantly? Well, you know, through September, October, and into early November, we had a nice run up in box beef prices. Uh, it did pull back a little bit right before Thanksgiving. I think that really just reflects the fact that most of the holiday purchases for meat have already been placed. This will carry us all the way through Christmas and New Year's. Uh, so it's not surprising to see it back down just a little bit. I don't think there's any major change in the market or any major weakness coming on. It's just kind of the way uh, the market behaves relative to these holidays. And it's hard to believe we're already talking about that, but as the year winds down, what can we expect to see in terms of the cattle and beef markets? Well, again, we're, you know, we find ourselves in a surprisingly good place right now. You know, for the most part, we're going to just kind of um, mark time to finish out the year. I don't expect any major changes um, as we go through the rest of the year. So we've got fed cattle markets, feeder cattle markets in pretty good shape. Box beef is holding well. Retail prices in October, which is the latest data that we have, were holding steady or actually slightly higher than a year ago. Uh, so we're just going to move on through the rest of the year and move on into next year knowing that that we still have some supply issues or some supply challenges uh, with, with increased box beef production. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we're in pretty good shape here at the end of 2017. Not too bad as far as winding it down. Exactly. Okay, Daryl, thanks a lot.